What is up, guys? It is your boy, Finn Aiden here, um, and I'm here with my top 10 figures of 2020 video. Um, I know this video is late, uh, so please forgive me on that. Um, I didn't even know if I was going to be making one of these. This year has been kind of crazy. Um, a lot of stuff going on personally, but uh, I am happy to be here. Happy to be making this video. Don't worry. Finn's gallery videos are coming back soon. I promise. It's been a crazy couple weeks, but um, this right here is actually not my top 10. These are some honorable mentions. I mean, you have amazing figures like the, the uh, Jazzwares Master Chief, the re-release of the Build-A-Figure Kingpin. I mean, the amazing Ultra Instinct Goku. Um, there are even some other, there's a ton of other figures I got this year that I really wanted to include that um, I just didn't really have, like, this is already kind of full. Um, I mean, you have like Cobra Commander um, from the G.I. Joe series or Destro or um, plenty of the Lightning Collection uh, Rangers. I have so many of those. I got a bunch of new Spider-Man figures. I got plenty, plenty of other figures, but um, these are some of my favorites, uh, especially because I wanted to put all these on the list. I, put, I, I love these figures so much. I mean, especially like the Black Series clones and stuff, love them. Um, and I just didn't have room. So they had to be released this year. And uh, this list is just based off my personal enjoyment. So you may say, wow, this import is like number five, but this like legend is number two. Like what the heck is that about? Um, I'm really only judging this list based on how much I've had fun with the figures, how much I've shot the figures, how much I've actually enjoyed them. Like. There might be some upsets, so you'll see what I'm talking about as we get into the video. But um, please just remember, this is just my personal enjoyment and the amount that I've shot the figures and enjoyed them. Uh, if you guys want to check out the photos I've done of all these figures, you can go follow me on Instagram at FinAiden. The link will be in the bio. But honestly, guys, let's get into it with number 10. At number 10, with what will probably be the biggest, uh, one of the biggest shocks throughout this list, I have the amazing masterpiece, probably one of the greatest figures in my entire collection, the Hot Toys Commander Cody that released this year. Um, you might be wondering, wow, Finn, that's your only Hot Toy. You said it's one of the best figures in your collection. Why is it number 10? Well, I was even considering not putting it on this list because my problem is this is a Hot Toy. This thing is like $250. Like, obviously no $20 figure is gonna stack up to this. And I've shot this more than a lot of figures this year. I absolutely adore it. It's literally perfect. I wouldn't change barely anything. Um, but it just didn't feel fair just automatically having the number one spot just go to this masterpiece of a figure. And so I'm putting him at number 10 instead of having him as an, as an honorable mention. Because um, I was originally just going to throw him at the beginning with all the rest of the figures. Be like, honorable mention, Commander Cody, he's perfect. But it's like, uh, it, you, know, you know what I mean? It's like comparing like a Tesla to like a car you got the used car dealership. Like, this is obviously going to beat any figure on this list, no matter what. So it didn't really, there's no real surprise. I'm just throwing him at the end. Honorable mention, basically. Number 10, Hot Toys Commander Cody. The paint is perfect. The detail is absolutely insane. For, for my first Hot Toy, like, what a what a perfect choice. Like, I absolutely am obsessed with this figure. I, I cannot get enough of it. Continuing with the Star Wars theme, number 9 is the Black Series Beskar Mandalorian. Um, This figure... Uh, me and Alex Richardson were hunting for months for this guy. We could not find him anywhere. Not at our local Targets, GameStops, Walmarts, anywhere. I mean, I would hunt with stones for months for this guy. We never found him. Eventually, he went up on Big Bad Toy Store, and um, I secured one. Well, I thought I did. I accidentally secured two, and so I still I have a second one. So, I mean, you can tell how much I love this figure by actually keeping a second just because he's so beautiful. Like, the articulation is amazing. The look is perfect. Um, the jetpack looks so good on him like i i need to make him a cloth cape still but i absolutely adore this figure um literally no, i have no gripes with basically any figures on this list like this figure is out of this world amazing i i cannot get enough of it i've shot it so much already and i've only had it for a few months so at number eight we have the power rangers lightning collection spd red and yes sadly this will be the last lightning collection figure on this list um i got so many figures from that line this year from I mean, Ranger Slayer, uh, I think I got Dracon last year, but I mean, I got Blue Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Black Ranger, SPD Red, um, Red Zeo, um, Omega Ranger. Like, I I adore this line so much, and I never thought I would get into it like this. And this figure is one of my favorites from the line, um, probably my top four, because uh, he's just amazing, and I've always loved the look of the SPD figures. Um, I mean, the SPD show, I guess, but now the figures as well. Um, Red Rangers are always my favorite, and the SPD look is just absolutely incredible. Um, Lightning Collection really delivered on this guy. He articulates so well. The accessories are great. I love the different hand that he comes with, like, to give it more options for your other figures. Head sculpt is flawless, which is something I sometimes have a problem with with the, with the line, so I'm so glad that they nailed it with this guy. And just overall, what an amazing figure. I absolutely love him. Number seven 
the Marvel Legends War Machine Deluxe figure. I... This is becoming one of my favorite legends. Um, honestly, right now, as I'm looking at it at number seven, I feel like I should almost put it higher. Um, but I'm sticking to what I wrote down. This guy is just honestly amazing. Uh, the way he articulates his guns. Um, I thought I would not like the head sculpt, but um, or not the head sculpt, but the head articulation. But honestly, it works for me. I love the fact that he can look down and tilt his head. Like, it adds for some really expressive posing options. Um, he just... The, the color scheme and the way it was delivered is just so well done. It makes me want the Rebel Tech even more now just because of how good this guy is. The accessories he comes with are insane. I use them for way more than just War Machine shots. Like, I use them for other figures. I'm just so impressed with this guy and the way he turned out. Um, I, I really enjoy shooting him so much, and he photographs so beautifully. I, I absolutely adore this figure. Coming in at number six is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes figure, and I... Love this figure, as you can tell by my three snake eyes. Uh, it's a long story of why I have them. Basically, um, I got one at a comic book shop, and then I found one really cheap at like an old like a return discount store. Um, and then Hasbro sent me an extra one for like a replacement figure for another figure. So basically, I ended up with three snake eyes, and I'm not even mad. This thing articulates better than some imports in my collection, which is a wild thing to say, but it's true. Like the the amount of range he has is just out of this world. His head articulation with the neck and the um like the neck ball joint kind of, and then also the neck articulation at the top is just insane. The accessories are great. I love it. It's so impressive. The paint looks great. Um, I would love to get the uh, the uh, exclusive one with the silver, but I might just get this one custom instead. Um, it just lends for so many options. I mean, you can get this customized into random ninja. Like you can make it look like a hand, uh, a foot soldier or a um, League of Assassins soldier. soldier. Uh, I just, I love it, and it's just, it, it really captures the nostalgia. I was never really that into G.I. Joe, but everyone loves Snake Eyes because he's, like, the coolest ninja around. Um, just such an impressive figure. Uh, I really, 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 really love this guy. He's just amazing. At number five, we have the Black Series Cad Bane. This was the other figure that me and Alex had been hunting down forever and could never find um, until Big Bad Toy Store came through. Uh, I believe that's where I got it. I honestly can't remember. But um, this guy is just amazing. Um, I just adore this dude so much. He's just, it really is just a, a perfect Black Series figure. Like Articulation is perfect. The paint, even the detailing is so good. Accessories are great. Head sculpt is great. The fact that you can remove his head sculpt and remove the wiring and then put him on a clone body is like a dream come true. Um, and Cad Bane has become one of my favorite Star Wars characters. So it's like to have him in such a perfect figure form is just amazing. Well, there's hat goes. Um, but honestly, I just cannot get enough of shooting this guy. He looks so well in simple shots, but then also articulates well enough for, um, like, fun action ACBA scenes. And honestly, it's just one of the best Black Series out there, in my opinion. Definitely one of the, one of the best of the year. Um, and if you guys don't own this guy, I highly recommend you get him before you can't find him anymore, because he is really one of a kind and just an amazing figure. At number four is the um, incredible, I'm trying to say amazing, guys. I know I'm saying it too much. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to look up, I'm trying to get some different words in my vocabulary. But um, is the incredible SH Figure Arts Battle Damage Jiren figure. I, I did not know I was going to be getting this figure for a while, but then I had a gift card and I was like, you know what? I need some more villains for my Dragon Ball display. And I could not have made a better choice. Like this is one of the best SH Figure Arts figures in my collection. And I own quite a bit. Um, like out of my probably 15 to 20 Dragon Ball figures, uh, this is definitely one of the best ones. Just the way that he articulates is out of this world. I mean, are you kidding me? Like, look at this. Like, it is just insane. His his joints are tight for a big figure like this, which I was really worried about before I got him. Um, he, he articulates so incredibly well. I mean, it's SH Figure Art, so you know what you're getting. But the detailing of just how, like, the matted plastic looks so much better than the shiny plastic they originally used for the other Jiren. And I just, I absolutely adore it. The amount of heads he comes with, the hands, the effect, like, he goes so well with that Ultra Instinct Goku I showed earlier. And he is just, oh, he is just spectacular. Like, I love this thing so much. I honestly need to shoot him more um, based on how much I love him. I haven't shot him as much, but I need to because he is so worth the 50 to 60 bucks he costs, guys. Please get him if you're a fan of Dragon Ball. Like, I'm serious. I highly recommend it. At number three is the Marvel Legends Absolute Carnage Carnage figure from this year. And he honestly might deserve to be even higher than this. Like, every time I pick up this figure, I find new love for it. Like, every time I mess with it, I'm like, wow, the sculpting really is insane. Or the paint looks really good. Or the articulation is better than... Like, it's almost as good as Snake Eyes, if not as, as good. Like, look at this. That is insane. And obviously, you can tell I love it because I have five of them. Um, the Absolute Carnage book from uh, a year or so, or maybe two-ish years ago, 
was one of my favorite Marvel events in so long. I love Carnage as a character. His his design is just so genius, and I just absolutely adore it. Um, the alternate head sculpts was was big brain moment. I it was so awesome. I love that you can have a classic looking Carnage or also these little Carnage kind of uh, minions. Um, because I have the uh, Rebel Tech Carnage, which is one of my favorite figures of all time, and they go so great with him. Like, I cannot stop posing them. Uh, the, the posing abilities, the articulation, the paint, the look, the sculpt even. Like, oh my gosh, all of these tendrils are sculpted. Compared to the, uh, Carnage from the other, the few years ago, I think, with the Venom Wave, or years before that with the Ultimate Green Goblin Wave, this just blows those out of the water. Like, you would want to throw those figures away based on how good this guy is. Um... A masterpiece, one of the probably one of my top ten legends of all time, if I'm being honest with you. Like he is that good. Surpassed my semi high expectations. Like I was pretty excited, but when I saw this dude in person, I knew I had to get at least as many as I could. Um shout out to my friends um who helped me get these guys. You guys know who you are, I really appreciate it. But um if you are a Marvel Legends collector, this should be probably in one of your first few figures you should get because he is one of the best ever made. At number two is the masterpiece one of my most hyped figures of all time one of my favorite figures in my collection period the mafex hush batman figure and i know some of you guys are really shocked by this placement um i know i thought it was going to be number one up till i started recording this um i really thought this guy was number one he was one of the most expensive figures i bought this year one of my most probably my favorite comic book of all time is hush batman this is one of my favorite looks for the character the blue and gray bat suit with the black bat symbol um, Jim Lee's art is my favorite comic book art of all time, and it's just, and it's basically a perfect figure. So how could it not be number one? Well, I, I will say, even though it's amazing and a masterpiece, I did not shoot it as much as I thought I would. Um, I shot it a lot, um, very much, but I did not get the shooting time out of it that I really thought I was going to. And my number one spot will be the, probably the culprit of that because I shot it so much this year. But besides that like if you guys are a batman fan this should be the number one batman you look this is the definitive batman for my collection i do not need another six inch batman for a long 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 time because of how perfect this guy is he's so good i want to buy the black version and i'm seriously considering it just because of how amazing this dude is um he really has like basically sold me on 200 dollars worth of figures like i am i do not want to understate how much i adore this figure this is one of my probably top 10 favorite figures ever made in my opinion probably top 10 if not a little bit higher than that um I, I just want to make that so clear of how much I absolutely, absolutely adore this guy. He is spectacular. He is incredible. He is flawless, honestly. And if you hate the cape, you hate the cape. I love the cape, and I think it's amazing. Um, I, I think it's a perfect figure, and there's not really anything I would change. Just an amazing masterpiece of a thing. And the number one top figure of 2020, my favorite figure I got this year. I probably shot this figure more than anything else this year or the last few years combined. It is the one, the only, Marvel Legends Green Goblin. Boy, get that out of here. I was just joking. That is not my number one. The real number one. Top figure of 2020 is the Hasbro Black Series 2020 Stormtrooper. This is one of my favorite figures in my collection. Top five, if not higher. Like, I have not been able to put this figure down since I got it. Um, If you can't tell... I like it a lot based on how many different versions of it I have. I mean, I have six Remnant Troopers, two Incinerator Troopers, and then a ton of... And these are all 2020 figures, by the way. These are all the new Stormtroopers. There's no old ones in here. Um, and I still have one in the box. Like, I still have another one somewhere that I can't find. Like, I have too many of these guys. Um, and I've gotten them through gifts, through um, deals, through people, like, through spending a lot of my own money, through selling things, just to be able to afford more. Like, I absolutely could not put this figure down. It's perfect. It is actually perfect to me. The articulation is perfect. I don't really need anything more from a Stormtrooper. Um, the Stormtrooper is one of my favorite designs in history of anything ever, like, I adore this thing so much. It is the perfect Stormtrooper, and I'm not done. I want to get more, and that's what's scary is because I don't have enough yet. Um, I've done custom paint jobs on them, if you can tell by this Remnant Trooper. Like, I've dirtied up a ton of them, um, added a lot of details. Um, those Incinerator Troopers are just absolutely incredible. The paint is flawless. Um, and I'm kind of just grouping them all together because they're basically the same figure. I added a pauldron to this guy, like... There's so many possibilities, and I want to get I want to get some custom like into other types of troopers. I want all of the 2020 model stormtroopers. It is the photo figure I've taken the most photos of by far this year. Like every single time I sit down to shoot, I probably shoot this guy at least once. That's how it was for me with the Mafex Spider-Man for a year. That's how it was with me for the Rebel Tech Spider-Man like for like three years. 
I cannot get enough of this figure. It's a masterpiece. It's incredible. It's spectacular. It's it's like outrageously amazing. I'm trying to use a bunch of different adjectives here, guys. I'm, I'm not trying to say amazing the whole time. But it is legitimately amazing. Like, look at this army. And I'm not done. I am not done. This is the figure. This is the best Black Series figure ever made, in my opinion. Like, the number one Black Series of all time. I absolutely am obsessed with this figure. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I love it so much. Best figure of 2020 by far. No question. This is it. This is the number one. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I normally would do a thing where I set up all the figures, but honestly, this is taking me so long that I'm just kind of like going to leave it here. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me, though. You can check out my podcast, the At The Shutterbugs podcast on iTunes. Me, Aiden, and Alex. We go at it all the time. We have fun. We talk about comics and rap and movies and music and everything. Like, it is the best. It is the most fun thing ever. We're, we did a whole review of most of The Mandalorian, the new season. We're about to be doing a review of WandaVision when it comes out. Um, so catch there every week. We are going to be uploading new episodes every week once that starts. And we are so excited about it. Follow me on Instagram, at Finn Aiden. All the links will be in the description. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. This has been my top 10 figures of 2020.